Thank you all very much. <clears throat> I want to express uh, my gratitude to uh, Mrs. Moratti and the San Patriano Foundation, uh, as well as this amazing community of San Patriano. Uh, you have been truly gracious hosts, and I'm very grateful. I'm here today to speak about philanthropy's role in the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, the Sustainable Development Goals were adopted by the UN General Assembly uh, last year and focus on 17 areas of importance to the globe. Um, no poverty, no hunger, good health, quality education, gender equality, clean water and sanitation, clean energy, good jobs and economic growth, innovation and infrastructure, reduced inequalities, sustainable cities and communities, responsible consumption, protecting the planet, life below water, life on land, peace and justice, and partnerships for the goals. What's important is that we've expanded up beyond the root causes of strife on the planet and really looked at things systemically and holistically. Global collaboration is needed uh, in order to attain, the, attain these goals and really uh, help stem the uh, danger and uh, impact of uh, poverty and population growth, uh, as well as migration. So what are the benefits of philanthropy's involvement? First and foremost, a common taxonomy. We need a language that everyone speaks the same, and philanthropy needs to adopt the UN's language and civil society's language around this versus our own uh, language. We also have an opportunity to leverage philanthropy's more limited resources with official funding and government policymaking and other foundations, so the opportunity to really collaborate uh, with public and private partnerships. The common platform that we're building uh, will encourage information sharing uh, between foundations, and it will also be a database that provides public insight into where foundations are funding. So we've created a sustainability, uh, de sustainable development goals platform, um, and the benefits that it's going to provide are getting country-specific information more easily, um, access to maps of ecosystems and actors um, in our foundation priority areas, the ability to locate local funding partners and stakeholders, convene more purposefully um, with a space for like-minded shareholders, and to help foundations identify accessible and productive entry points um, within the government and within the UN system. And lastly, and really most importantly, the ability to better measure um, our progress against these goals and make more informed grant making. We wouldn't be able to do this without some incredible lead funders to this effort. Uh, I'd like to thank the Ford Foundation the MasterCard Foundation, the Hilton Foundation, and the E for Impact Foundation for being the early funders to build this platform. And we will be adding new funders to the platform as we build. But I'd also like to thank the United Nations Development Program and the Foundation Center working with Rockefeller Philanthropy Advisors to actually go through and tag all of the grants that foundations have made to date so that they align with the Sustainable Development Goals. Millions of grants are being tagged right now so that we actually have a historical look on how foundations have funded in the past so that we can measure progress in the future. <clears throat> what we hope to achieve with this platform is creating the means for philanthropy to better engage as a partner in the Sustainable Development Goals. And we need to create new methods of outreach and engagement to connect philanthropy to the development ecosystem at the local, national, and global level. We also need to make data on philanthropic investments more accessible to track progress, find partners, and tell stories about our collective efforts. We're currently piloting in five countries, Kenya, Colombia, Indonesia, Ghana, and Zambia. We have planned expansion to the United States, Brazil, India, and we would love to add Italy to that list. 
What we face, however, though, is funding the Sustainable Development Goals will cost at least four trillion U.S. dollars annually. In order to achieve that level of support, we will need to repurpose much more of the world's financial capital for social purpose. Businesses will need to begin to take into account all of their stakeholders and not just their shareholders. And we'll also need to uh, encourage alternative forms of business like the B Corporation that was spoken about earlier today. And last but not least, stemming illicit flows um, uh, financial flows, particularly those that are coming from poorer countries. But it is actually achievable. Uh, BNY Mellon uh, did a study uh, looking at the supply side of social finance. And there's $22 trillion annually that's available for play. And while only $60 billion of that is earmarked as what we call impact investing, which is in the space of philanthropy often, there's over $20 trillion that's available for socially responsible investing. And what that will allow corporations to do is actually align their spending and their investments along the sustainable development goals. So what can philanthropy do on this? We're actually a very small player in terms of the capital that we can contribute. But we actually have a higher risk tolerance than most for-profit businesses do. So we can play a role of both a grant provider where we're not expecting a return on capital or providing uh, program related investments where we're making an investment at a below market rate return. That allows us to go in as an early stage investor, perhaps to build infrastructure where it doesn't exist and encourage the flow of for-profit capital into the space. We can also model collaboration. Philanthropy hasn't always been strong at this, but we recognize that collaboration is essential for us to achieve these goals. And we have a history of being a very strong convener, bringing different parties to the table to find common outcomes. I'd like to conclude saying that these goals are very achievable. They're incredibly lofty. Um, we will make mistakes along the way, but with an open platform for sharing information, we can begin the process of building trust and building collaboration. I want to thank the San Pantriano community again for being our gracious hosts, and thank you very much.